if you get a small enough island that you can study the whole population and yet big enough that they can survive and adapt, it's almost the equivalent of a laboratory test tube. In the 1970s, ecologist Tom Shainer found small islands without anoles. And he added anoles to study how populations grow, shrink, and eventually go extinct. Some populations defied the odds and continued to thrive year after year. These survivors gave Jonathan an intriguing idea. Would the lizards adapt to their new island homes? they had inadvertently set up an evolution experiment because these islands differed in their characteristics. Tom Shainer had moved brown and oles from a larger island, Staniel Key, where the lizards lived on large trees, to these tiny little islands that didn't have trees. They had narrow bushes and, and narrow stem vegetation. Just like twig and oles having short legs on narrow vegetation, we predicted that the brown anoles, when moved from a broad surface to a narrow surface, would have evolved shorter legs. Did the same rules that made evolution predictable on the large islands operate in the Bahamas too? And if so, could we witness evolution happen in just 14 years? Few biologists would have asked this question because most of them still thought that animals evolved too slowly to observe in a human lifetime. But Jonathan saw an opportunity to put this conventional wisdom to the test. A big part of biology is about creativity right? and about understanding like, what is the right question. There's an artistry there. And if that's an art, then Jonathan's a Picasso. Jonathan returned to Tom Shainer's islands in the 1990s with a new plan to compare the anatomy of the new island populations and the original source population. If the anoles were different, that would show that these populations had evolved in just 14 years. And the results flashed on the screen. The populations were different, they had evolved. Well, needless to say, this was incredibly exciting. The anoles differed in just the way Jonathan expected. On the islands with slender branches, the anoles had evolved shorter legs, and they did so in just 14 years. Even for anoles, which can reproduce at one year old, 14 years is incredibly fast.